Welcome to Q&A practice. We will start with the court. Ready? People versus Burns. Let the record show defendant is present, represented by counsel. People are represented by counsel. All jurors are present. Counsel, you may call your first witness. We call Mike Smith. You do solemnly swear that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, be seated in the witness box. Please state your name and spell your last name. Mike F. Smith. S-M-I-T-H. Mr. Smith, do you reside at 324 Rose in West Hills? Yes, sir. And did you also reside there on the date of May 16 of 2009? Yes, sir. Now, on that date, May 16, did you leave your house at some time? Yes. And do you remember about what time that was? three, four in the afternoon. And at that time, was there anyone home when you left or was the house empty? House was empty. When you left, did you secure all the doors and windows? Yes. If we don't, the alarm system doesn't activate. Do you have an alarm system in the house? Yes. Is that connected up to the doors and windows? Yes. And do you have to turn it on if you want to have it activated when you leave right now? When you left, was there any damage to any of the windows of the house? No. And is there a kitchen window in the back of the house? Yes. And more specifically, was that broken or damaged in any way at the time you left on the 16th? No. Incidentally, is your alarm, when it goes off, does it make some sort of noise? Yes, it's got a loud bell inside the house and outside. Not a siren, but a bell, a bell. Also, does it have any attachment that goes with it as part of your service that notifies the alarm company? Yes, we subscribe to a service that calls the police in case the alarm goes off 15 seconds after the alarm goes off. All right, does it also call a alarm company to well, the alarm goes off through the alarm service and alarm company. Well, sir, here's what I'm trying to find out is if one phones the police station or some way transmits a message to the alarm company. Okay, when the alarm goes off, there is something that calls the police station. What is the name of the company, Hawk Security? Is there something that notifies Hawk? That's what I'm asking, right? Okay, is that an immediate notification or is there some delay on that? I think in case we set it off accidentally, we've got 10 to 15 seconds in order to call, in order to shut it off. If it's not shut off in 10 to 15 seconds, then the alarm company calls the police department. All right, as part of the alarm system, the kitchen would be in the back, hooked up to the system also, yes. And what sort of things will set the alarm off? If the window is opened, I think if it's opened more than opened at all, it triggers off. 
if the glass is broken in any way, there is a monitor that triggers the alarm off when a large screeching sound is heard. Now did you on another day, that is May 2nd, return to your house? Yes. And when you returned to the house, did you find anything different about its condition than when you had left on the 16th? Yes. My kitchen window was broken. There was a piece of plywood boarded up over the window and the the screen was was that done by a relative of yours yes and the screen was still on the lawn in our backyard had it been on the window when you left yes the kitchen sink was full of glass that was apparently from the window yes hadn't there been when you left no glass in the kitchen sink right now mr smith did you give anyone permission to enter your house while you were gone no sir and did you give this defendant permission to be in your house or to tamper with any part of your house no sir do you know him at all no ever seen him before no from our transcript and we will start with defense attorney ready here we go and when you said eight minutes was that the total time from the time rendering treatment at the scene to getting her to the emergency room at Mission Hospital yes that was when we first made contact with her to when to when we left for the hospital our transport time was from 1856 to 1907 do you recall if there were any police officers at the scene when you were rendering care to ms waters that evening it's standard practice for them to show up I don't remember seeing them there, no. And do you have any recollection as to how many lanes of travel there are at the intersection where this incident occurred? There's three in each direction. And you don't have any recollection at all as to which lane you remember first observing her face down in? No. Do you recall having any conversations with Ms. Waters in transit to Mission Hospital? Not specifics. Were you one of the individuals in the back with her during the transport? Yes. Do you recall having any conversations with the other individuals in the transport van itself on the way to the hospital? No. And then once you, were you one of the treating paramedics that actually wheeled Ms. Waters into the emergency room at Mission Hospital? Yes. Do you recall having any discussions with a charge nurse or an admitting nurse or anything over at Mission Hospital about Ms. Waters' condition. When we get to the trauma room, we speak to the trauma doctor and there is probably about 15 other nurses standing around and getting the patient prepped for whatever treatment they're going to be doing. 
So I am basically speaking to a crowd, but I need to make sure that I'm speaking to the trauma doctor because he needs to know what happened and what's going on and what we found. All right, that will conclude our Q&A practice.